okay guys welcome back to the channel so today as you can see from the thumbnail I'm going to show you how you can use Hive OS mining platform uh, but uh, as always before we begin if you haven't already please consider subscribing to the channel and turn on post notification and another thing if you don't know already I make um, videos in different languages so uh, for you to make it easy you can go to my channel then go to the playlist I make and in here you can find uh, the videos in the language which you prefer so uh, basically before we begin let me tell you a little bit of uh, uh, Hive OS uh, what it is and what we can do with it and basically as uh, the name suggests Hive OS it's a mining platform or let's say it's a uh, it's a mining OS like for example Windows uh, which we can use obviously uh, but uh, we can use it for other things we have uh, specific uh, OS uh, platforms for mining like uh, ethos like uh, like SMOS or simple mining OS and Hive OS it's one of them so basically Hive OS it's just a mining platform or a mining system which is dedicated only for mining and with this system or with this OS we can uh, we can use to hook up our rigs with uh, AMD GPUs, Nvidia GPUs and also we can uh, we can connect and monitor obviously our ASIC miners if we have some and as you can see in here Hive OS is an ultimate management platform that allows you and your team to set up monitor and administer your mining farm all your AMD and Nvidia GPU rigs and Bitmain ASICs like S9, A3 and so on so basically it's a, a very simple OS uh, you can install it on an 8 gig USB but obviously I recommend you using an SSD if you want speed but um, uh, a simple USB drive uh, with 8 gigs at least of free space uh, you can use it to install this mining OS and it's uh, very easy and basically what we need to do is uh, go to the main page of uh, Hive OS uh, obviously you can find the link on the video description you can use my link there uh, my referral code so you can uh, uh, you can uh, give me a hand if you use my code and also you can profit something if you use my promo code there Albania blockchain so you can get for free ten dollars which you can use with this um, uh, with this mining uh, operating system let's say so uh, let's uh, first let's go to the pricing uh, I, uh, I decided to to try out this uh, uh, this mining OS because uh, it's the first time for me too so I don't know how this works and how it will go so uh, it will be the first time for me too and uh, I wanted to try this OS because with this OS you can use up to three rigs without any payment yes that's true so basically this means that if you have up to three rigs um, or ASICs let's say you can uh, use this mining OS without any payment but if you go uh, for more than three uh, mining rigs or ASICs let's say then you have to pay uh, a small fee and the price uh, for now it's uh, three dollars a month per rig but remember this if you have for example three mining rigs and you uh, use uh, Hive OS you won't pay anything but if um, later you uh, you add another mining rig so you get to four mining rigs then you do, uh, you don't pay only for the four uh, for the fourth mining rig that you added but you must pay for the four mining rigs that you have so uh, it's said in here um, if you uh, have four mining rigs then you have to pay for the four so four by three it's uh, twelve dollars a month so uh, keep that in mind but uh, anyway having three rigs it's um, a common thing today for home mining let's say so if you are one of them which uh, you have three rigs or less or a6 let's say then you can use this uh, uh, this mining operating system let's say so this uh, this is about the price obviously they have a business plan also if you want to try that and um, 
yeah i think um i think it's going uh, it's going to be a fairly decent price let's say because if we can see in here it says custom and you can use more than 500 rigs and obviously if you have them you will get uh, you will get a discount obviously so um, you can give it a try if you want okay now let's go to the basics and i'm going to show you step by step how you are going to use or how we are going to use this uh, mining os and at the end see if it's worth it so basically the first thing we need to do is go to install and obviously grab the latest version of uh, hive mining os so you just click this link here and it will begin uh, it will begin downloading but um, uh, apart from uh, from the Hive Mining OS, obviously we will need some uh, uh, some other uh, programs, which uh, uh, which obviously the most important it's uh, a program which you we can use to write uh, this image to a USB or uh, on hard drive if you have it hard disk or an SSD uh, whatever. And the program we can use it's. Um, uh, HDD raw copy tool also we can use the other programs like uh, Win32 Disk Manager, Etcher or Rufus or any other programs the which uh, is used to write an OS image to a USB drive uh, for this time I'm going to use Etcher in here so um, I'm going to just click on Etcher it will bring, uh, bring me to the Etcher uh, official web page and you just click on the link in here for the uh, for the operating system which you have currently and on which you are going to flash your USB drive. So uh, basically that's it for now. We we are going to wait till the download is finished and then we are going to proceed with the next step. Okay guys, the download has finished now. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is that I downloaded it as a zip file. But if you like, you can download it as a torrent file, obviously. But uh, I don't like to use torrent programs, so uh, I prefer the zip file. Uh, I also downloaded the Etcher uh, program, which are going to use to flash our USB drive. And here you can see that uh, it also recommends that uh, you use an SSD, which are much more re uh, reliable and obviously much, much faster. Uh, but obviously, we, uh, we can use the USB flash drive. And it says that if you want to use USB flash drive, please run logs, uh, logs off after installation. I don't know what it means, but maybe it's something we are going to find out later. So uh, yeah, as I told you, the finish, uh, the download has finished. Uh, here it is, Hatcher and HiveOS in zip file. I ha uh, I have created uh, a new folder for uh, easy installation. So I'm going to extract. Obviously, if you have uh, downloaded it as a zip, you have to extract it also. So I'm going to extract this one here. Okay, so let's trans transfer Etcher also. Let's close this. Okay, uh, so now we have the Etcher and the Hive OS image in one file. As you can see in here, I have inserted my uh, USB uh, drive, which I'm going to use to flash the Hive OS and basically now the thing is really easy let's open up etcher okay obviously we have to install it first so let me just do that okay now uh, etcher is installed and open and as you can see the procedure is uh, it's really easy First, we have to select the image, which uh, is going to be uh, the image that we just downloaded and extracted it. So Hive OS uh, uh, 0.557, this is the latest version. Okay, click open. We have selected the image. Uh, now we must uh, select uh, uh, the USB or the, the hard drive where we are going to install it. Obviously, the Etcher program selected uh, automatically because I don't have any other flash drive or any other um, SSDs uh, attached to my PC, so uh, it uh, it selected um, uh, automatically. But if you want to change it, obviously you can change it in here. Click Change, 
and you can select in the list of USB drives uh, the USB which you want to use okay for now uh, for me it's okay with this one because I want to use this USB and now we just click on flash obviously we confirm that so it's going to take a while uh, till it's going to flash uh, uh, the the Hive OS to the USB so we just uh, have to wait a little bit and after it's finished we can proceed okay see you guys in a bit okay guys now the flash has finished and uh, when the flash finishes uh, you will get uh, popping this um, uh, these windows but you don't format them uh, the disk you just uh, close this this uh, windows that pops up okay cancel you can close etcher 2 and we are done now we can remove the USB and we can go and insert it to uh, to the rig we uh, which we are going to uh, to use Hive OS okay after we have our USB flashed ready you just put it on your rig then you up power on your rig and then obviously before we begin uh, with this step uh, you must remove any uh, hard disk drive or SSD drive that you may have and obviously since we are with a USB drive here you can see loading Hive OS everything went good with the flash uh, as I was saying uh, with the USB it's going to take a while so just be patient uh, because the rig uh, is not unresponsive, but uh, it just takes too much time with the USB. Okay, after it reloads, you may get uh, a black screen for a little while. Don't worry, this is just normal. And then it will begin again loading the OS. And here you go, this is the main screen in here of uh, Hive OS. Obviously it's not fully loaded yet, but um, uh, it's not fully loaded yet, but as you can see it has recognized all of my video cards. I have uh, three Radeon RX 470s and uh, you have some commands in here which you can use and it's still loading as I told you, so let's just wait a little bit more. okay it's loading up again as you can see it uh, if you run it for the first time like I did uh, it may get some uh, downloads or some updates let's say so here you can see that it got an update uh, from the version uh, 0.5 uh, 70 uh, 56 uh, 57 now uh, we have version 0.5-61 uh, so it's downloading let's just wait for the update uh, to download and we'll go on from there okay the download has finished it's installing now the new version obviously we will get the notification that we have no config file because we haven't used anything we haven't configured anything yet so um, it's normal don't worry about the red line in there so let's just wait a little bit longer till it unpacks the hive the new hive okay the new update has finished as you can see in here upgrade complete have a happy mining obviously it's not open yet uh, by the way we are going to need the monitor uh, uh, the monitor uh, hooked up to a video card for the first time but then after we configure our Hive OS we don't have uh, uh, we don't have to use uh, a monitor to mon uh, to watch our rigs or to configure our rigs as you can see there Hive OS server URL press enter to continue you just press enter in there and then uh, we are good to go so this is uh, when you run the uh, HiveOS for the first time uh, this is uh, the things you are you may go through and as you can see uh, we need a rig ID and obviously a password which we don't have yet 
obviously we are going to proceed with that step uh, later so uh, as I told you I decided to make this uh, series in parts so this will be part uh, would be part one uh, hope this uh, this was clear if you have any question don't forget to uh, to ask them on the comment section so I'll try my best to help you out uh, but basically that was it I think uh, it was very simple uh, don't forget if you want to register to HiveOS you can use my link down below or my my code there so you can get uh, free ten dollars on your account which you can pay uh, for your hive os uh, rigs if you have if you have more than three if you have only three th three rigs or less then you can use hive, o uh, hive os for free okay i think that was uh, it for this part don't forget to subscribe like and share the video it would help me very much and yeah see you guys on the next one bye bye